with just under three months to go to the MDC's eagerly anticipated elective congress in May, where a new substantive party leader will be chosen. Sparks are flying within the country's main opposition outfit, the Daily News can report. MDC Alliance President Nelson Chimisa Center and Ten Diabetes Alliance Principal Center and Amos Chibai are organizing secretary, right? Emotions have been further ventilated after mischievous Anu PF agents provocateurs backed the party's well-regarded Secretary General Douglas Monzora to beat the current popular leader, Nelson Chimisa, in the fast-approaching polls. This comes as MDC's senior leadership has openly accused the ruling party of working frantically to destabilize the opposition party again, ahead of its May 24 to 26 Congress, where Monzara is expected to contest Chimisa. As a result, a lot of flack has been directed at Monzara, particularly following a mischievous tweet by Zanu PF Deputy Youth Leader, Louis Matutu, who predicted the fall of Chimisa come May. MDC Vice Chairperson Tendai Bitti, who many are tipping to contest for one of the party's vice president posts, angrily reacted to the suggestions that Monzara was likely to emerge as the new party leader after the May Congress. He said the party would not accept to be led by a ruling party chosen half-wit. We will reject any nincompoop given to us by Zanu PF. We already have a candidate in Chimisa. So, we will not tolerate that. Our duty is to protect the legacy of our dear leader Morgan Svanger and we know with Chimiso we will be able to do that," quote Vitti thundered. A senior member of the MDC National Standing Committee, who refused to be named for fear of victimization, told the Daily News yesterday that Monzara was thus likely to be rejected by party supporters as perceptions grew that he was allegedly a ZANU PF Trojan horse. This does not augur well for our SG Secretary General, because he will now find it difficult to campaign in the structures as he is now being viewed as a ZANU PF project, which is very sad. He could even be booed at rallies, like what happened to one of Chimis's deputies Elias Midzori, as unfair as this will be because the SG is a man of impeccable integrity, quote. The party official said. There always existed a feeling in the party that Monzara is no longer with us, after he apologized to Luke Malaba, when he Malaba was booed in Parliament by MDC MPs, and so the Matutu issue is a kiss of death for him, quote, said another senior party official. The MDC Youth Assembly also claimed that Sanu PF wanted a weaker candidate to emerge as the party's leader in May for obvious reasons, vowing that this would not happen. It is saddening that Sanu PF wants to give us a leader and we know why. We are, however, clear as youths and other organs of the party that we have Chimisa as our leader, and the decision is ours not Sanu PF's," quote, said Lovemore Chinaputsa, the MDC Youth Assembly Secretary General. Matutu threw the cat among the pigeons when he poisonously said Chimisa would receive a heavy shell king from Monzara at the May Congress because he did not have support in the MDC party structures. Mwanzara is likely to become the new MDC president because the majority of Chimisis hooligans are not in the structures of their party, and they don't form part of the Congress delegates," quote Matutu said in his controversial tweet. Matutu went on to defend his statement yesterday saying it was an honest analysis of what was happening in the country's largest opposition party. What I said was not informed by my liking for Monzara, because I don't like him as well as Chimisa. If I could have it my way, I would prefer Midzori. I am saying this based on what I see. They also comment about Zanu PF saying bad things about our leaders, and so there is nothing wrong in us giving our views on them as well.